All right, guys. All right. So, Destiny Bolton, uh, the person who runs Destiny Bolton, or he's the account that's managed by Zau Ali from the Game Post, posted an article that um, stirred up the pot, and he got a lot of criticism, or this post got a lot of criticism, uh, rightfully so. Now, little disclaimer, uh, I'm going to be a little offensive. I'm going to be irritated. The reason that is is because I love this franchise. Destiny is my favorite franchise of all time. I have no shame in saying that. I've been playing this franchise since the D1 beta. It's It's been in my routine, in my love for games for a while. Something I've always played, and I've said this before, the only time I truly stopped playing Destiny altogether was post D2 release. I just wasn't down for doing this shit all over again. You know, the reset, unnecessary, the two DLCs I didn't really care for or love, Curse of Osiris and Warmind, to the point where I didn't even care for the Forsaken. And I heard it got critically acclaimed, I just checked out and I came back a little bit later and have been back ever since. So one thing that pisses me off is seeing lazy pieces of shit post engagement bait like this that is easily discredited. And the fact that anyone is given this mind is, is mind boggling, but that's what happens when you have one of the biggest, if not the biggest platform or at least biggest account on X or Twitter for this game. So guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's look at this graph. Now, right off the bat, let's mention this, read the title, Destiny 2 Annual Expansion Pre-Orders. Estimated total pre-orders based on the number of pre-order exclusive emblems acquired on all public Destiny 2 profiles around 66 million. So let's just say that this was used for Charlemagne, which it was. As you can tell right off the bat, 3.1 million people pre-ordered the annual edition of Beyond Light. This is the most successful expansion based on this graph. After that, the Witch Queen fails to capture any number and missing the mark by nearly a million with 2.2 million pre-orders, annual pass pre-orders. After that, Lightfall follows up with another 2.2 million, but a little couple thousand over the Witch Queen. And then as you guys can tell now with the final shape, we're not even at half a million annual pass pre-orders. Damn, this game's toast. As you could tell, this graph is horrible, it's bullshit, and it's lazy work. We all know that uh, Beyond Light was not this successful. Uh, I, I don't know why so many people pre-ordered a game, annual pass version, getting excited for a whole year of a game that was just removing 80% of the content and introducing sunsetting weapons. I, that mind boggles me. I, it just If you've been a part of this game for a little bit before the Witch Queen, you know the state Beyond Light left us in. And even though the seasons were great, I loved Season of Chosen and Season of Splicer. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. It wasn't. Uh, we had a delay for the Witch Queen, which was something. A long wait period like we're seeing now. We had a 30th edition that kind of saved some things. But altogether, it wasn't a great period. And the Witch Queen was kind of the peak experience when it comes to an expansion in this area. And as you could tell, it's the second, at least it's out of the ones that released, it's the lowest pre-ordered, which still makes no sense. So altogether, man, using Charlemagne to get this is, man. I never want to say someone is lazy at their job, but it's hard to find a case to defend you when you're doing this piss poor work as a journalist, quote unquote journalist allegedly journalist uh we got some more information on destiny bulletin um allegedly with sticky but we'll leave that for the end so you guys could check out because it is an allegation i don't know how much of it is true it was kind of news to me the other day when sticky posted his tiktok and i'll show you guys what he posted but yada 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 so let's go on reddit for a second and uh thank you to the user softlight uh i'm gonna post this link to this post in the description and pinned comment. There will be all the information about what I'm citing there. But um, one point I want to take out from this long post he posted is the fact that if you guys use a more credible bot to determine via emblems, which I do think is kind of the best way for us to gauge things because Bungie isn't open about those numbers like that from what I've seen, because who is open about numbers anymore? Witch Queen has 1.4 million pruder emblems redeemed via emblem report or through emblem report at least that can recognize and they have no idea where this site is getting the 2.2 million number we saw on the graph and beyond light which is apparently 3.18 million has 1.2 million pruder emblems redeemed so it makes no sense and remember beyond lights coming after the fact of shadow keep which was an expansion i guess you could say but it wasn't the best one what people would say 
People will argue that it was the worst expansion we've ever gotten. Uh, there were some salvation parts of it. No pun intended, because I know the whole salvation from the witness. But yeah, like, oh, how are you so bad at your job? You're so bad. You're making me make a rant video. I, I, I'm in disbelief. I had to make this video, but here we are because it's crazy that this type of engagement baiting grifting bullshit stirs up the pot and has conversations about things in destiny that is just kind of taking away a meaningful point that we should all be focusing in on on giving reasonable feedback to bungie for example guys man you know what even though i did pre-order i was one of those poor you know poor miserable pieces of shit that that pre-ordered the annual pass version specifically the collector's edition because let's make it worse for myself that's um Let's give you guys some concerns that people should have when uh, people pre-order this game, or at least are thinking about pre-ordering this game, because there are three serious concerns I can write out for you guys that are pretty, pretty serious. So for one, content post Final Shape is very vague. We don't know what we're getting exactly with these episodes, except for a little graph that we've seen. So why am I going to make a commitment to the annual pass version? Like that graph said, like, why? what are 407,000 people doing? Like they have no clear answer for us yet and we're three months out of the release also does bungie need to improve based on what we've seen in the reveal oh yeah they do they need to improve a lot because sentiment around the community wasn't universally praising it it was oh okay this looks like an expansion this looks like something it looks like it could be better than lifefall but can it be better than lifefall who knows they don't know so yeah that's a serious concern why would people buy that also, I think the biggest concern and something we won't see answered for a while, if not even until the final shape is released, is Bungie doing enough to change the current pipeline of content and how we interact with that content? Who knows? That is a serious issue that we have now with Destiny, that they do need to change the pipeline and how we interact with the content and the content value, annotation to a crafting video I made. And again, I'm not saying in that crafting video, I am right. I made clear in that video, but as you guys can see in the comments, there is discussions that is had about stuff like this and that is meaningful discourse that helps the community and the product of the game this grifting bullshit sorry zuhad ali but uh it's lazy work do better i don't care about all these corrections you're doing after because you we can all mess up yes but messing up because you're lazy as a journalist oof, i'm sorry it's hard to wrap my head around that and kind of forgive you for that if you posted you know, misleading numbers via weapon buffs. Yeah, that's fine because Bungie isn't clear about buffs and debuffs we get. We have to use community research for that. And it's all over the place. It's easy to make confusing statements about what perk is greater and what reasons and the percentages and all that other stuff because it is convoluted. But this is a situation that is convoluted and you're making an absolute statement out of it. So yeah, sorry, you're kind of bad at the journalism you're allegedly doing. Now, with that being out the way, Let's get into some allegations about Destiny Bulletin because I found this out from Sticky and I feel like it is important to mention it because, wow, I didn't know that. So, Sticky posted this on TikTok. I'll also link this down below. I recommend you check out the whole stuff. He talks about some terms of service and stuff. I don't know how enforceable that is because uh, things have changed. Ownership now and once Twitter, once X. And this happened in 2017. So, apparently, in this TikTok, I'll let you watch there is some serious stuff going on about Destiny Bulletin that I think we all should take into consideration going forward. I just found out some interesting information about Destiny Bulletin, and I would like to hear your thoughts. This all started, and I did a little deep dive because of this right here from a mod on Destiny the Game subreddit. They're not journalists. They're grifters who bought iFateBringer's Twitter account to harvest the Destiny community for ad views on their blog. That's one of the reasons why they're blacklisted here. And then I did a little bit of digging and then there's these people who don't even remember following Destiny Bulletin, but they remember following iFateBringer. And this is your reminder that Destiny Bulletin account used to be iFateBringer. Again, allegedly, allegations, don't know how much is true, but I'll be honest, as a personal experience, I don't remember following Destiny Bulletin at all. Uh, I saw them posting news and apparently I was following them, but I remember iFateBringer. iFateBringer posted some solid stuff. Now, unfortunately, there was a situation I don't recall, but it was a pretty serious situation with iFateBringer. I hope everything with him is with them is okay. But yeah, like I, I don't recall this transition, this switch. And next thing you know, Destiny Bulletin's all over my feed and I see Destiny News and I just push it to the side. And I'll be honest, the last year, uh, I've been growing extremely tired of Destiny Bulletin's posts to the point where I've even just kind of uncheck the notifications. Now, when it comes to stuff regarding like information, press kit stuff that they sent out that you guys can see via the press kit room on Bungie, I, um, I, uh, 
I don't see much value in what they bring to the conversation especially now with this information that they're just kind of like a they may have bought the account that was highly successful and now they're just like the biggest account because they got a head start and they're just grifting engagement it pisses me off something like this shouldn't go by and be accepted in this community because there's a lot of people who actually passionately care about this and yes yeah, some people have criticism that i don't agree with or are very harsh like for example i do think the pvp community has a lot of short-minded complaints and a lot of their issues are very small to the overall experience of destiny now should their concerns be disregarded no because for example they mentioned a lot about cheaters and that's a serious issue fortunately I'm not in the point of playing destiny where i deal with that type of shit because i play other parts of the game and that's where i say that i do think a lot of their concerns are very small concerns to the overarching conversation of what we should fix they can disagree with me they have every right to disagree with me because they're probably right i shouldn't disregard that because it is an issue for them serious one and i can admit that it is but uh all together man like i can't this this graph pissed me off beyond belief to the point where yes i had to make a video and i don't i don't want to make a video on destiny bulletin because this is a win for them they don't care what we say they just gonna say it because it gets engagement asked across made a video on this i haven't checked it out so i don't know if he agreed with this graft or promoted this graft in a in a serious way if he did i hope he makes an update video on showing how bullshit this is because there is a lot of stuff that came out after that video may have been released that shows that man this is the worst graph ever to the point where it's just creating a whole twitter account but yeah that's just my thoughts on the situation um if you guys are yet to pre-order final shape uh you are rightfully not pre-ordering because there are serious concerns uh if you guys have uh you guys are like me and you guys are already committed like you want to see what's going on you know you're gonna play yada 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 let's have a conversation about fixing the game not talk about numbers that we have no idea on because they are kept behind closed doors and uh we're just wasting our breath and in some cases we're reaching to make an absolute statement like uh game post and zuhad ali did with destiny bulletin but yeah leave your thoughts on this video um more videos like this will certainly happen because i do think we need more discussion among certain components of the game to kind of address things so if you guys enjoyed this video and, and are glad i spoke up against this or maybe i taught you something be sure to drop this video like comes the video a ton and for more content like this whether it's destiny 2 discussions god rolls builds other stuff maybe some gameplays every now and then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as subscribe for other content like you know rainbow six siege hell divers 2 i don't know i've been saying hell divers 2 but i gotta really work on the content for that uh i have some stuff piecing stuff for that is a very different process than other videos i apologize for that and uh call of duties and other stuff you guys all want that content yeah definitely hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified but all together uh probably my last thing i'm gonna say on this graph one and dunning it yada 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 but uh curious to hear what you guys think besides that's all i got for this one shannon g here and i'm out